Hello everyone, I am Augustine and we are Team Lucky Sweatstorm. We innovated on making private voice channels, which we call whisper channels, and a point and leaderboard system for Zoom. COVID-19 threw over 290 million students into virtual classrooms. Based on our feedback, we know that our features will increase the student interaction and camaraderie that online education lacks. In these trying times, we believe that our features would help forge vital social bonds that students would normally make in a physical classroom. When we first conducted interviews, everyone desired a drastic increase in virtual classroom interaction. Our first idea was to have voice channels to simulate a group of students talking at a table. Since the tested users said that that was especially desirable, usable, and useful, we followed the design principle of testing, getting feedback, adjusting a little bit, and reiterating. The accumulation of small adjustments over the whole semester resulted in the current design. This is the student view of the Whisper Channel. If you click on the more ellipsis, you can make a Whisper Channel and you can add a friend to talk to. There are a couple things we can notice here. This is the main voice channel and this is the Whisper Channel. There are variable volume sliders so that one can be louder than the other. And notice this priority button. When somebody speaks in a prioritized channel, all other channels will be muted. So that was the part of the design that deals with the student view of Whisper Channels. And now I'll hand it off to Jacob. All right, thanks, Augustine. During our second round of testing, we really tried to embody the DI principle of empathy. By making private voice channels, we gave a lot of power to the students. Turning it around, we decided to test out some of the features on the teacher's side of the whisper channels. As you can see in the prototype, we added a close all whisper channel functionality button, a view open whispers button, and a reopen whisper channel functionality button. By clicking close all whisper channel button, the teachers can remove the whisper functionality for testing days, etc. By clicking the view open whisper channel button, it allows the teachers to see open whispers between students and close them individually. Finally, the button on the left allows the teachers to reopen whisper functionality after they have been closed. Teachers we ran the prototype on considered it valuable, findable, and very useful. It would allow students to have a higher level of interaction within the online classroom format that has become popular during COVID-19. The majority of teachers that we interviewed seemed to think that features, the features we had implemented would be enough to maintain control over the classroom, and the small feedback suggestions that we received we added to our most recent prototype. This included being able to see how long students were in a whisper channel. After fulfilling this request, we believe the teacher's features are in a good spot. Now I pass it on to Jess. Thank you, Jacob. In order to create a leaderboard, we had to have a method of receiving points. For students to receive points, we allow instructors to edit through the settings tab of Zoom um, what action students can receive, point, receive points for, how many points they can earn, and an option for instructors to link the points earned from their Zoom meetings into their preferred gradebook system. Um, the last option was integrated based on feedback from instructors during testing because they didn't want to have to toggle back and forth between platforms. On the other end, we came up with a way for students to redeem or exchange these points for rewards. These include simple things like unlocking new fonts, backgrounds, and then leads into being able to redeem extra credit for a specific amount of accumulated points. Extra credit was incorporated uh, because during testing, students were in favor of this option. Um, this, of course, is regulated by the instructors, which have the ability to specify the amount over here and um, the ability to allow or decline this option, so turn it on or off. Additionally, students' points and placements individually and in teams over here um, will be viewable from the leaderboard. Um, we believe that these additions will excite and motivate students to participate while also creating friendly competition between students. And now I pass it to Apostles. Thank you, Jessamine. The last feature we would like to promote is our innovative team forming system. Wanting to help motivate students to interact with each other in an online class format, we made a feature to allow students to self-organize into teams. This feature was our top pick during our real win-worth deliberation process in our second sprint, which you can see here. We decided to start working on this feature after collecting the necessary data and feedback during our interviews and tests with students and teachers. We wanted something that was both useful and exciting. As you can see here, there are teams or groups with their members underneath. You can request to be part of a group and when you're accepted you're granted access to that team's voice channel as well as, as well as the chat system. Added functionality includes a system of online, offline, busy, and away status indicators, file sharing, and screen sharing specifically to that team. Students can easily connect with their peers, establishing camaraderie and teamwork and facilitating the formation of social bonds in the classroom. We'd like to thank all of you who gave us the opportunity to demonstrate our work, gave us a platform to push our limits, and for providing constructive feedback 